Fix Source MQB48 Adapter Error Complete Troubleshooting Guide for VVDI MLB Tool Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm super excited you found us. This is your go-to spot for everything related to automobile diagnostics, and we've got tons of cool, detailed content just for you. But before we dive in, I've got a little favor to ask. If you haven't already, please take a second to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss a video. It helps the channel grow and motivates me to keep bringing you the best content. Trust me, it's a small click for you, but it makes a huge difference for the channel. Also, feel free to drop a super thanks if you want to show some extra support. I really appreciate it. All right, now let's get to the problem at hand. If you've been struggling with the Zorse MQB48 adapter while using it with your VVDI MLB tool, you're definitely not alone. One of our viewers reported a frustrating issue when trying to collect data, receiving the error. The current power supply quality is critically low, making it impossible to collect valid data. Sounds pretty annoying, right? But don't worry, I've got the troubleshooting steps that'll help you get it back on track. So, let's break this down and figure out what went wrong. It's important to go through the right steps, so let's get started. Step 1. Check your software version. Sometimes, the easiest fix is just a software update. We all know how things can get a little buggy from time to time, and keeping your software up to date can really make a difference. The first thing I did was update the software, and while this may seem like a no-brainer, it's always worth checking. So make sure you're running the latest version. Step 2. Verify your USB connection. Another simple yet important step is making sure both of your USB cables are connected properly. It might sound obvious, but sometimes we forget the little things and a loose connection could be causing that error message. After making sure everything was secure, I gave another shot, but unfortunately, the issue still didn't go away. Step 3. EEPROM Replacement Next, I went ahead and replaced the EEPROM that came with the MQB48 adapter. This is a pretty common troubleshooting step when dealing with communication issues or unexpected errors. A faulty EEPROM can mess with your data collection, so always check this part. But after replacing it, guess what? The problem was still there. At this point, we were dealing with something a little deeper. Step 4. Try different laptops. Okay, so this one might sound like a bit of overkill, but I decided to test the adapter on two different laptops to rule out any PC-specific issues. Maybe your laptop just isn't playing nice with the adapter, right? But Despite testing on multiple systems, I still hit that same roadblock. The official Zor solution, the real fix. At this point, we've done a lot of troubleshooting, but the solution comes straight from Zor's themselves. Here's what you need to do. 1. USB connection. Make sure you're using a direct USB connection to the PC. No fancy extensions or hubs here. Just a clean, straight connection from the MQB48 adapter to your laptop or PC. Two. Power supply check. Zors clearly recommends using a 5V power supply, and this is crucial. But don't just stop there. Check that the current doesn't exceed 0.5A. Too much power can cause instability, and that's something you definitely want to avoid. 3. Use recommended hardware. The MQB48 adapter is meant to be connected either directly to your PC or to the VVDI Key Tool Plus pad. But PC is preferred for the best results. Four. Double check your wiring. I can't stress enough how important it is to double check your wiring. Sometimes, just a small mistake in the setup can cause a big headache down the road. 5. Update to the latest version. Finally, if the error persists, go ahead and download the latest version of VVDI MLB tool, specifically version 2.0.4.2, and run it directly. This update may resolve the issue and get your tool working as it should. Here's the download link for VVDI MLB Tool 2.0.4.2 in description. So there you have it, the full rundown of how to fix that pesky error when using the Zorse MQB48 adapter with the VVDI MLB tool. It may feel like a bit of a journey, but following these steps should get you back on track in no time. And, hey, if this video helped you solve your problem, please like this video and share it with others who might be facing the same issue. I always love hearing your thoughts, so feel free to drop a comment below with your experiences or let me know if you ran into any other problems with the MQB48 adapter. Your feedback helps me make even better content for you.
Remember, if you haven't subscribed yet, now's your chance. It's quick, it's easy, and it helps me bring you more videos like this. Thanks for watching all the way through, and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe and happy diagnosing.